Microwave Sam here. We're going to set up the Elgato game capture card with the PlayStation 4. For those of you who don't know, the Elgato game capture HD card is an Xbox or PlayStation high definition game recorder used for the Mac and PC. How it works is it's connected with your PlayStation 4 or whatever console you're using and it is also connected to your PC or your Mac. And the PlayStation 4 is connected with your TV. So while you're playing, you are also using the software provided by Elgato and recording that gameplay at the same time in full HD 1080p quality. So what will you need? Let's get started with the Elgato. Now the Elgato, when you purchase it, will come with the Elgato Game Capture HD small box, which is the main component. It will come with this HDMI cable that you'll need and a mini USB to USB cable that you'll also need. Now on the PlayStation 4 side, you'll need the PlayStation 4 itself, the AC cord that gives it power, and also its HDMI cable that comes with the PlayStation 4 box. Now the PlayStation 4 of course needs to be connected to a monitor, any monitor will do, that has an HDMI input slot, and you also need of course finally your laptop your PC or your Mac to run the software that Elgato provides. Before using the Elgato and wiring things up, you want to turn on your PS4 regularly and go to settings. In settings, you want to maneuver downward until you reach system. You want to press X on that. In system settings, we want to uncheck enable HDCP. HDCP stands for High Bandwidth Digital Copyright Protection, which you want unchecked to even use the Elgato and record HD gameplay. Now on the computer side, we want to go to this website provided by Elgato. I'll leave a link in the description. Elgato Gaming provides a program called Game Capture HD that allows you to record your gameplay from your console via the Elgato onto your computer. Now it provides some system requirements which you can pause and check if your system, your PC or Mac, has the correct system requirements. I'm using the Game Capture HD 60 and you can click on one of the two. I'm downloading 2.0 for Windows 7 or 8. It will download as an MSI file for Windows uh, computers and you just need to wait until that download finishes until you can run the program. Now once the download finishes, you can run the program, uh, open that executable file, and start running the installation. The installation is fairly easy. It pops up this prompt for the Game Capture HD setup. You better just press next, you agree to the license agreement, and leave the default directory, press next, and press next. Now, this conflict comes up because I'm using XSplit to record the Elgato and my PC at the moment but I can just ignore this and press OK. For everyone else the bar should be moving as normal and the status should be changing while it copies new files so that you can install the Elgato Game Capture HD program. So you just have to wait a couple minutes maybe just one minute until this finishes and I have this program already installed so it's just going to update to the latest 2.0 as this finishes, just gonna wait a couple more minutes. Now, it should be done in one, two, three. Okay, so it should be all set right now. Okay, so you just press finish after the program is done. It might prompt you to restart your computer, but you don't have to. On the PlayStation 4 side, leave the, its HDMI cable plugged into the monitor, but take the HDMI cable side that is plugged into the PS4 out and leave it on the ground. There are four button slots on the Elgato. We only have to worry about HDMI in, HDMI out, and USB. Plug one HDMI cable to HDMI in. The Elgato's HDMI cable goes inside HDMI in and the other end goes into the PS4. 
HDMI cable from HDMI in goes to PS4. Easy as that. Now to worry about HDMI out. The second HDMI cable comes from the monitor's HDMI cable, which we will plug in one side to HDMI out. The other side, of course, is plugged into your monitor. Double check that the other end of the monitor's HDMI cable is plugged into HDMI out, like so. Grab the mini USB to USB. Plug in one side, the mini USB, to the USB of the Elgato, and plug the other side, the USB side, into the computer. And that's the setup. Back on your computer, you want to open the Game Capture HD program that you just downloaded and installed. It should have created a shortcut on your computer, so just double click that shortcut and the program will open. If this is the first time you're setting up the Game Capture HD, it will say one moment please, but you might notice at the top right underneath the device tab bar, it says Elgato Game Capture HD, underneath that it says initializing. Your Elgato should be connected to your computer via the USB and it should be trying to detect signal because the Elgato Game Capture HD box is powered via your computer by this USB connection. Now at the toolbox settings, you can configure what console to detect. Now mine is already set for PlayStation 4, it says no signal because I need to turn on my PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 will turn on, and on my monitor, it might be a black screen for a couple seconds before the Elgato Game Capture HD program detects that there is an Elgato connected via the specified console, and then the screen pops up. There's a live image preview of the console, so you can see the Sony emblem pop up, and my PlayStation 4 is on. You can see it on your monitor and also on the Game Capture HD program. Now at the settings tool button at the right underneath device you can specify the input device which is specifying the console of your choice. In this case you would do PlayStation 4. In the global settings underneath Game Capture HD right next to edit you can specify the folder in which the video files are downloaded and saved. Now at the bottom left you can see the record button. At the right side, you can see you can turn on live commentary in case you want to record some commentary on your gameplay. You can also stream on the Elgato, and there are some adjustments for live streaming, live commentary, setting the audio, the game, in-game audio, and simple adjustments. I just hit record on the red button, which I'll demonstrate as a demo of how the Elgato works. You can play it like normally, but the preview will always be here on the Game Capture HD program. And you can just maneuver and play normally and record good quality HD. So here's the clip that I just recorded, but right now it's a good time to explain how the Gato works with this current setup. To even play the PlayStation 4 with this setup, on the monitor, you need to have the Elgato plugged into your computer and the computer needs to be on. The program doesn't necessarily have to be open, but the computer needs to be on because the Elgato requires power to transmit one HDMI visual and the noise from one side to the other side. But if you ever want to just play your PS4 without recording, just take the HDMI cable that is plugged into your monitor and take the other side that should be connected to HDMI out, plug it back to your PS4, and it should transmit uh, normally. It should make the switch, and you can play regularly without recording. But as long as you have the Elgato with this setup, with one HDMI cable plugged into HDMI out, the other HDMI cable plugged into HDMI in, then you must have the Elgato plugged via USB to your computer and the computer needs to be on because the Elgato requires power to function and to tr transmit from one side that visual audio to the other side. Thanks everyone, please rate, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you got the Elgato wired up with your PlayStation 4 or whatever console you're using and leave any questions below.